Welcome to the Sweet Suspicious Agile video blog. I'm John Okoro, and we are going to continue our coverage of Agile scaling uh, this week with Scrum of Scrums and with Nexus. Before we start, though, let's take a look at where we've been so far in the Agile scaling series. We've taken a look at SAFE, the Scaled Agile Framework in version 3.0, one of the leading frameworks for scaling of Agile. We've also taken a look at Large Scale Scrum, or LESS, which comes in the flavors of LESS, and less huge for larger numbers of teams. Also a leading uh, player in scaling uh, of Agile today. Uh, we also looked at disciplined Agile delivery by Scott Ambler, who had previously done uh, work on the Agile Unified process and uh, had been uh, with IBM. And we took a look at that, which is a hybrid Agile scaling framework. And we took a look at Spotify, which was designed for the Spotify company, and uh, in some cases, other companies have used it as well. So this week, we're going to take a look at Scrum of Scrums, and we're going to take a look at Nexus. So Scrum of Scrums, and thanks to Mountain Goat Software for the uh, image here, uh, giving us a picture. And also, we're going to take a look at Nexus, which is by Scrum.org, and a uh, newer framework. We'll take a look at that. Now, we'll start, as we have throughout the course of this series, with the uh, AgileScaling.org coverage. Uh, you'll note here there is coverage for Scrum of Scrums. There's no coverage for Nexus, which is pretty new uh, and uh, not covered in the Ask Matrix yet. So portfolio level, uh, Scrum of Scrums received low level of coverage. It's not really designed for portfolio budgeting and allocation, looking at different projects and programs. Uh, same thing on the program level. Uh, Scrum of Scrums, again, is not designed to run programs uh, per se, so low coverage there. Uh, from a team level, it got medium coverage because it is... Uh, something that is going to help your teams to coordinate and work uh, together with each other. Uh, programming Agile Engineering Practices is low coverage, not designed for that. And uh, inter-team collaboration, again, uh, medium, it helps you to get uh, some collaboration, but there's more you need to add to it. Overall, low coverage. Uh, again, Scrum of Scrums is a scaling method for Agile, but it's certainly not a heavyweight one, and there's a lot of things you need to add to it to get it to work well. Let's take a look at what those are now. We'll go into our coverage of Scrum of Scrums first. So Scrum of Scrums, you can call it the original Agile scaling method. This is one of the first methods that basically came up for being able to use Agile at scale with any number of teams. And it's incorporated into Less, and it's incorporated into Safe, and into Nexus. And many others uh, actually use this method, whether custom or a named framework. So uh, it started with an initial article that was written by Sutherland on the topic. And it was about Agile can scale and uh, inventing and reinventing uh, Scrum in five companies. Talked about five companies and the way that they scaled Scrum using basically the Scrum of Scrum's approach and how they also use that with XP practices and others. Uh, basically, it helps to facilitate the communication between different Scrum teams and different teams that are using Agile in your organization. And it is going to basically tell you to do several Scrum of Scrums meetings where you have representatives from different teams, could be Scrum Masters, team members, others, uh, who are going to attend the Scrum of Scrums meetings a few times a week uh, to talk about the things that are relevant to the other teams and to work on impediments and blockers and those sorts of things. So it's not very prescriptive. You really need to add your own on top of it. We'll take a look at a case study I'm going to call the company Entertain You, not the real name of the company, but it's a company that I've worked with in the entertainment industry. 500 plus developers, huge budget, mission critical for them, this Agile program, developers on three continents. So Scrum of Scrums was certainly used. But in addition, we had a set of lead and area product owners for a few different areas. So we had a large group of product owners. Uh, and so that was in addition to our Scrum of Scrums that we had. And we also had Agile project managers. A lot of the project managers were trained in Agile methods and work with the Agile teams. There were also development leads and user experience people. So a lot of areas were added on top of Scrum of Scrums. This was a successful uh, it was a successful program, Agile program, uh, but as you can see, it wasn't just Scrum of Scrums. We need to add a lot more to get it to work. Okay, now let's take a look at Nexus. Nexus, again, is by Scrum.org. It's very new. Uh, honestly, as I was looking for and doing research for this uh, week's blog, I actually had not previously found a lot of information, but uh, as it turns out, uh, uh, Scrum.org has actually, and uh, 
Schwaber have actually released uh, some information, so there's now a downloadable guide for it as of August 2015. Nexus basically uh, is 40 practices in Scale Professional Scrum along with the Nexus framework, and Nexus is the exoskeleton of Scaled Scrum, it's called. Uh, it basically covers basically three to nine teams, or up to about 100 people. They have Nexus Plus if you want to be able to scale to a larger level, single backlog that is used by everybody to cover everything together, and you're going to be able to have all of the groups working out of that backlog. Uh, much of it is very similar to basic Scrum, which is the idea here, the simplicity, the extension of Scrum. Uh, you do have this idea of a Nexus uh, integration team, which helps to give other tools and things that are needed to build and uh, make sure the teams are able to put their, their parts together of the product. Uh, there is also a certificate you can get in uh, Scale Professional Scrum and that uh, there's a test that's online that goes an assessment and you can get a certificate. Most of the classes are in Europe and in North America. So that's Nexus. Not a lot of background on it yet, but uh, it's a new method that's starting to come together as well. If you'd like to see other Agile scaling methods covered, please add a note in the comments below and subscribe so you can see those updates. Until next time, stay Agile and thanks for listening.